Today we are going to show you how to install the LED cat eyes in the interior light uh, in these front of these excursions. So uh, let's get started. Well, first things first, we have got the Gitans LED car light is uh, what I'm going to link in the description. I bought them. They were super cheap and uh, there's a whole pack of them. I don't even know how many. I think there's 10, um, but I'm only using two for this particular install. So let's get started. Well, I have got the center console out on the bench now, and I just want to show you guys. So to get it down, you're going to pull, there's there's push tabs here and here, that's the front, and then there's a push tab here, and it actually will hang from this thing while you unplug this connector, this connector, and this connector. Sneak preview of the light, but in addition to those clips, front, two front and one rear, there is a screw right in the center of the sunglass holder. And then that whole thing comes down and you disconnect those plugs. And then we're gonna look at the top of the lights. And uh, I'm just gonna guess here, but it looks like I've got a ground, I've got power for one side, power for the other side, um, because they go from the little switches and stuff like that. I'd like to have all that still work. So that's how I'm gonna wire it. I'm gonna wire one power here, one power here, and both the grounds to this. And I will let you guys know if that works. All right, well, I got the copper strip out of here. Um, it kind of just presses in and then it goes into this plug and this plug is able to be pulled off. Um, this is what I'm thinking gray and the orange are power and the black is ground. Uh, I pulled the little caps out. I see everybody putting these things in there where they face down and I really want to use this little mirror. So I'm going to see if I can't, uh, yeah, I'm going to see if I can't pop this thing off of here and put it to where the light still faces up into the little dissipation mirror. So we'll see. Well, it wasn't too bad at all. I was just very careful and I did not um, break either of these tabs. And then uh, I've got it pried open just enough. I'm gonna stick the light in there, run the wire out the top here, uh, or out, now it'll be out the bottom. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, we'll be set. All right, well, my plan worked and the light is facing straight up now. And I ended up using a 3 8 washer to fit this in. And then the light's gonna face up into our reflector mirror. Okay, well they are both sitting back in there. And then you can see from the bottom, I've got the wires run up and through. And then uh, we'll see if this block's too much light or not. I'm just curious. I don't really want the spotlight effect in there. I want the uh, nice and bright and clean look. So let's see what we get. I'll show you guys the light. I'm gonna wire this thing up the way I thought and then I'm gonna test it out. Well, I promised you some uh, interior of the lights flipped the other way and uh, they were so dim and I was so bummed that I completely forgot to film that for you. So I'm gonna make it up to you. Uh, my friends, Grace and Camo, are making videos on Bob in Moab and I've got a couple of teaser clips for you, uh, but you should go check them out. There are two videos already on their channel of the first couple trail days we had. Uh, and uh, you guys should go watch them. Uh, I'll put a link right up there to Grace and Camo, and I'm also going to tag them down below. Um, go subscribe to the channel and watch for wheeling videos of Bob because I'm not a wheeling video person. I don't know people, and uh, so they're they're doing all the wheeling videos pretty much. So uh, anyway, uh, that's what we're doing, and I'm going to show you some clips, and uh, let's get right back to the video. I'm putting lights in. I tried it. I got the ground hooked up. I got the power hooked up to where I thought, just of one. And uh, you know, it's a little disappointing that it's shooting up into here and really not uh, dissipating the light like I want. So I guess I am going to be flipping it around like everybody else has done and just shooting the light out the bottom. I'll show you guys that. Okay, now I got the light facing down. I still have the 3 8 washer on the top of that and the nut, and then the wire comes out the back now. So uh, I'm gonna wire this up and test it out and we'll see where we're at. Alrighty, I've got it all soldered together. The orange one is from the driver's side. It goes to the passenger side light. And the uh, passenger side light goes to this. And uh, it's kind of odd because I think that puts the switches backwards, but I might, I might have wired the positives backwards, but I never use the reading light, so it's not a big deal. And uh, ground is coming out of this. So anyway, Alrighty, well, I've got it in here and uh, I'm letting, letting you guys uh, wait for the reveal. I did do the switches backwards, so when you turn on this switch, it goes to the driver. And when you turn on this switch, it goes to the passenger. So if you did want to wire yours 
obviously the right way, um, do the wires uh, opposite of what I just did uh, as far as the positive wires. So let's, uh, that's, uh, that's much brighter. That's pretty nice. Let me go turn off the lights in the garage, you guys can see. All right, we're in the dark here. I'm gonna click the unlock button. I put some green LEDs down below, and then I'm gonna show you guys the inside. Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely different than it was. So, uh, pretty sweet looking. Yeah. All right, well, there you have it. That is how you put in a brighter, those little LED cat eyes or whatever you want to call them. There will be a link in the description to those. And uh, yeah, just wire them where the positives are on the different lights. So I went to the same switch that's on the side of the light and the light actually shoots the opposite side of where it is. So the passenger side light shoots to the driver, driver side light shoots to the passenger. So other than that, uh, super easy install and uh, not too bad. So get yourself some, links in the description. Have a great day. If you got some uh, value out of this content, hit that subscribe button. Bye.